thousands of people use surveillance cameras to keep an eye on their homes and businesses, but what if those same cameras were broadcasting your private moments to the world? 22 News I Team report, Tamara Sakarzik uncovered websites tapping into your own security cameras, allowing anyone to watch you. With everybody connected by the internet the way it is now, it's as if you're walking down the street holding up a picture and saying, this is what the inside of my house looks like. Security cameras are used by thousands of homeowners across the country to protect their homes. But what if someone was using the feed from your security camera to watch you? Security cameras are hacked all the time. With the click of a button, the 22 News I team gained access to this view out of a window in Greenfield. It's just one of thousands of private security camera feeds we found on this website, which broadcasts live streams from unsecured cameras to the world. When you leave your house in the morning, chances are you lock your door, but many people forget to lock their Wi-Fi even when it's connected to their security camera. If you leave your Wi-Fi unprotected, anyone can tap into it, gaining access to your security camera feed. Seeing through your camera, how dangerous could this be? It could be dangerous uh, if they get to see a pattern, what we call a pattern of life, when you're home and when you're not home. Attorney Steven Spellman told the I-Team what they're doing is completely legal. If you are making it available for everyone in the world to look at, it's tough to complain when someone looks at it. Here's another feed from that website at the Botanic Gardens of Smith College. The 22 News I team set up a camera in our newsroom to shoot the feed, then went to Smith College to put it to the test. Sure enough, as soon as we walked into the Botanic Gardens, we too were caught on camera. Smith College told the I team they had no idea their live stream was being broadcast in another location, and we discovered it happens more often than you'd think. It's not a complicated process. Cybersecurity expert Larry Snyder showed the I team just how easy it is for hackers to gain access to your personal devices. Anybody that has the ability to do a little bit of Google searching and, and uh, can watch a YouTube video for 25 minutes or so, you probably can pretty much manage any device that you want. Security cameras aren't the only concern. The I-Team discovered it's easy for hackers to gain access to anything that can connect to the internet, from cell phones and laptops to baby monitors and drones. This device is called a Raspberry Pi. It's used to hack into anything that you can connect to their Wi-Fi. Raspberry Pi is just a a bare bones computing device, which is handheld, palm held computing device. And what it allows us to do is to build a wireless access point, which will allow computers or any device that's in the area to connect to the internet um, via that device. The takeaway, don't connect to public Wi-Fi, use a strong password and change your password often.